Shalom family. So let's just quickly touch on this whole drive that you see happening in the world. There's a serious push by everyone now. And it seems that they're on a timer or something because everybody wants this done like yesterday, wrapped up before they focus on anything else. They're not interested in famine. They're not interested in excess deaths from strange reasons since 2020 that are now starting to ramp up. They're not interested in nuclear threats, world war, any other crises that are happening in the world. They're interested in getting the two-state solution done. Israel being their main focus. So let's just touch on a few of these articles and then I'm going to tell you exactly what I think. Slovenian government votes to recognize Palestinian statehood. The Slovenian government voted to back unilateral recognition of Palestinian statehood, a move expected to be approved by legislature. And this is the message of peace, they say. Peace? Do you even know who you're talking about? Did you look at the details of babies going into ovens and women being raped to death? Peace? The move comes after Spain, Ireland and Norway all finalized their recognition of Palestinian statehood earlier this week. Christians in Ireland, <coughs> just before you think they're not there, it's the same with South Africa. We've got a lot of Christians here that are for Israel, even though this country hates Israel. Christians in Ireland and Norway reject their government's dangerous recognition of a Palestinian state. Christian leaders affiliated with the International Christian Embassy in Jerusalem issued statements on Tuesday rejecting their government's unilateral recognition of a Palestinian state. They denounced the recognition as a grave mistake and a reward for terrorism, arguing that the move would not contribute to peace in the region. Christian supporters of Israel and Ireland sense a deep shame regarding the actions of our government in recognizing a state of Palestine under these present circumstances. Paul Coulter, National Director of ICEJ in Ireland. No prizes for terrorism. Visiting Israel, Spanish opposition leader condemned Spain's recognition of Palestine. The leader of the conservative Spanish Vox Party arrived in Israel on Tuesday to express solidarity and show support for the IDF dismantling the Hamas terrorist organization and securing the release of hostages. Spanish politician Santiago Abascal met with Netanyahu and Diaspora Minister Amichai Chikli during his visit and stated there would be no prizes for terrorism, no state. For Palestine. So even though countries are recognizing it and accepting it and getting behind it because they have evil leaders in play and in control, many within those countries, even opposition leaders and Christian groups, are voicing their opinions and speaking out and saying these people do not speak for us. We do not agree with what they are doing because we know what the word of God says and we know what's going to happen. So in 2024 alone, 145 countries now fully support dividing the land, the two-state solution, 2SS. And you're going to see this more and more in the news every single day. South Africa is now also threatening America and other countries for supporting Israel and that they will take them to the ICJ next, which is a typical situation where something wrong has been done and the bully is now bullying the others to toe the line and have the same story whether they agree or not. So those countries that are not against Israel fully are going to be bullied into coming into line or else you're going to get cancelled or sorted out in some other way. And so more and more countries jump on the bandwagon against Israel. Now what does the word of God say about this? There's many things God has to say on this. The Bible is not silent. It is very vocal, but I'm going to take you back to the important piece for me that I want to warn countries about and leave with you. Joel 3 verse 2 says the following. I, that is God, will gather all nations and bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat and I will enter into judgment with them there. On account of my people, my heritage, Israel, 
whom they have scattered among the nations, and they have also divided up my land. So, I've heard people say to me, no, God won't allow it, they won't divide the land. They're going to divide the land. God is going to deal with those who have divided his land. Their plan is to divide the land, and they will. It'll be part of this Daniel agreement that's coming. I think 927. It will be part of that whole plan, and they will divide the plan. How they're going to do that exactly, how they're going to convince Bibi, or maybe remove Bibi, or do any of those things and replace the government. Maybe the Antichrist is just going to be that impressive when he pitches this to them. But dividing up the land is going to happen, and it's going to have the full support of the rest of the world. And all those countries that stood behind that are going to have to stand before the Most High God, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the God of Israel. And he will enter into judgment with them regarding everything they are doing right now in front of our eyes. Pray for Israel. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. You were born for a time such as this to pray, to love, to support, to stand up and be counted in a time of cowards and people that keep quiet and are hiding their faith. You were called to stand up and shine so that there might be light in the darkness where you're at. Shalom.